This card is a really interesting card. First of all, the shape of it, you're wondering how we're gonna create it and make it stand. So what we have done is we've got this special mechanism at the back and the mechanism is held together with some Velcro dots. But what it does do is it makes the card incredibly sturdy. Without this mechanism here and without the score lines that have been built into the design, this card does not stand up. So all of the work's been done for you to give you the best result. So the main body of the card is going to be the weight, uh, white foundation. Then going to do my mats and layers and create the decoration. So let's take the back off the foam tape. So I like to use, when I've got a lot of mats and layers, something that's as thin as one mil. And you'll see it really is quite fine, but it still gives us that lift. And the other thing about having mats and layers like this is that it also gives us a little bit of a shadow. So it adds dimension. It starts us thinking about perspective and where we're going to layer up our design. Now, because the scallops have been cut so that they marry up perfectly, this is a very easy card for us to create dimension on. But do ensure that when you are working with cards, with particularly scallops, don't just assume that the card is symmetrical because from time to time it isn't possible with the design and you do need to then look at it and make sure that you pick a point and the whole thing comes together. So these are the layers that are going to go on the front and that's the main body of my card made up. This is the important part. So I've got a score line there, I've got a score line there and I've got a score line there. And I need all of them going in the same direction. And then going to be sticking my card to the side of this, and that is how we're going to hold it up. But it, these score lines are not in equal positions on either side. So the important thing is understanding the mechanism itself. So that is the base. This is the back that's going to go to the actual card. And then these two pieces here, these two score lines, this one and this one, are what are going to create the detail and hold it together. Now, the reason that we've got this second score line is without it, the whole thing sags, but this allows it to lift up. You're then going to need two little dots, a little Velcro dot with the hooky part and another little dot with the foamy part. And the way that I like to make sure mine are in exactly the right place is by putting them together, bringing over my card and checking the position and just before I press it down. And now that should open up so you've got the dots on either side. So let's get that closed up and then look at, and I'm just gonna show you this from the top. And there's a reason why we've chosen to do all of this with a camera above, because it enables you to see the dimension of the designs. And that is then ready to go into the front. Also would allow us to put it up vertically if we chose to. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to put the glue on here. Now, I've got a scallop shape. You can see there, it's a slight oval. So I don't want glue in either of these corners. So when you're planning this, make sure that you take that into consideration with where you're actually putting your adhesives. That would go across the main body of the card. You might want to put a little bit of red liner tape just in here while that glue is drying to give you that dry bond while the wet glue sets. And then to glue it all together, make sure that you do this with the main part of the card touching your glass mat so that you know that you have got this holding everything straight and all the panels are in exactly the right place. I'm just gonna run my fingers inside here and press that down so that the glue's stuck well. And there we are, there are our two cards, perfectly shaped, perfectly dimensional and very, 
very sturdy.